What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Dale Kelly here today, guys, man. And this video, man, is for the people, man, that have been asked me, what am I doing in this current market right now? Um, how am I moving around? What am I doing? What are my plans? What's my next step and stuff like that, man? So this video is specifically for you guys. So right now, as we all know, man, the trucking market is it's a little shitty right now, right? To be just to be quite frank, it's not that good right now, man. So. And me personally, guys, I've been having to wait a complete year just for my semi truck. You know what I'm saying? So I order semi trucks and stuff like that. And then if any of you guys have ordered semi trucks as well, you know what I'm speaking of and you know what I'm talking about, man. Trucks have still been on back order for fucking forever, man. But, but a good thing is for all you guys that's looking to buy trucks and stuff like that, used or new, the truck prices are going back down, man. My guys are back there working right now, man. I'm going to show you that in a minute. But for me personally, right now, man, what have I been on, man? Like I told you guys in the very beginning, man. See, that's one of the guys back there working, man. Hit him up, man, for good work, man. If you're a real estate game, man, he does amazing freaking work, man. They're doing some work right now. But you guys are asking me, man, so what am I going to right now? I told you guys before, man, I am an investor and I am a business owner. I'm not just a truck driver, although, you know, I have compassion for my CDO holders and my truck drivers because, hey, I drove trucks as, you know, as well, too. But... Like I told you guys before, man, I'm a businessman, man. I'm an entrepreneur, man. I am a businessman. So what have I been doing? So since I can't control how fast they make my trucks and stuff like that, since I have no control over that, what I did was, this was something I did before I even got into trucking and stuff like that. I invest into real estate, guys. So as you see right now, man, I have the team there in here working right now, guys. So they're here. They're cleaning up all the trash that's in the inside of stuff like that. So my contractor comes through here. He doesn't have to worry about it being dirty, any trash stuff ever from any other um, past tenants or person who owned this house before. And they can just get in here and get right to work. And also, um, as you guys can see right here, let me tell you what, man. I had to chop down, chop down like a lot of bushes and trees and stuff right here as well. And we're gonna take you guys from the back. So bust of that stuff in here busted out stuff right here and this is just the very beginning man like i'm excited to show you guys man just my real estate journey as well man and just my other business opportunities and endeavors that i have going on as well so even back here man so let me show you back here my guy is working back here as well man. so back here uh, back here man we're putting in work so for you all right now though that's in trucking you guys want some trucking advice and stuff like that what i would tell you is this man yes the market is the market is not that great right now right the market is not the best right now and that happens though that happens in any industry like it's up and down in any industry man you're going to have a time where it's high you're going to have a time where it's low and you're going to have a time where it's just it's just steady i guess right what i would say is make sure your structure for your business is right and whatever business that you're doing, man, make sure your structure and your foundation of whatever business you're getting to, whatever business that you're doing, it is right and it is okay just so you can sustain or you can just survive times like this where the market is messed up and it's just not as good. Prices are getting raised and stuff like that. Inflation, all those things that you have to deal with and stuff like that, man. And then I would say this, man, um, yes, the market is bad, but everyone in the market, they're not doing bad. Everyone's not doing bad. We have some people, man. Shout out to these guys too, man. Getting that work in, yeah, man. Shout out to them. But back to what I was saying, guys. Um, yeah, man. Like, don't, don't, don't get discouraged. I'm sorry, man. I got the camera everywhere. Don't get discouraged, guys. And um, don't get discouraged and let people sit here and tell you, like, hey, don't get this, don't do that, don't hop into the market because X, Y, Z is going on and all this good shit. Don't get discouraged, man, because a lot of those people, what they're doing, I'm going to tell you exactly what they're doing. They are speaking their failures and their fears on you. Like, yes, the market is bad. Yes, it's this and anything. The market is not good in anything right now. If you ask people that's in real estate right now, materials and everything has went up. So it's not just trucking where the market is just not that good. In real estate, man, you're fucking your, um, the interest rate went from 2% to 6% now. Stuff like that. So it's, it's, it, you have you're having it in every type market. But like I said before, man, don't allow anyone 
to sit here and speak their fears and their failures on you and stop you from doing anything and stop you from going for your goals, stop you from going after your dreams and stuff like that. Don't let that happen because, yes, like I said before, the trucking market is bad right now, but it's people in that market that are, they're doing pretty good. Like, it's people in that market who are still in the green and they're still staying afloat and they're able to, you know, just this, they're able to still be productive and still be in the green in this current market and stuff like that. So that's right there to show you like, hey, it still is possible that I can have success in this as well. Because when I see people having success and stuff like that in markets and stuff like that, it motivates me. You know what I'm saying? When I see that shit, I'm like, hey, I can do it too. If this person over here have, is, is having success and he's doing good in it, how come I can't do it? So that's the same type of mindset that you should have as well. So, but like I was saying, guys, back to the video, man. So what I've been doing, man, is just controlling what I can control. A lot of us sometimes, man, we try to sit here, um, we sit here and be worried on shit that we can't control. And we try to control things that we can't control. Once you put your best foot forward and something happens to say like you have to wait a, a whole entire year for a truck and stuff like that, that's okay, man. You can't control that. So you get up and you do something else, man. You can control what you can control. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, guys, that's what I've been doing, man. You guys are going to see a lot of more videos about the real estate side that I'm doing as well, man. And um, just stuff like that. I'm going to have a lot of more videos about that, like I said before, the real estate. And then this is my other business endeavors that I have going on and stuff like that. So stay tuned, guys. And, yes, man, keep on trucking. Keep on investing. Keep on going at it. Keep on going after your dreams and keep putting your best foot forward, man. As long as you're moving towards the right direction. That's all that matters, man. Slow progress is better than no progress, guys. So always remember that, man. But it's your boy Dale Kelly here today, guys. I got to check on these guys, make sure they're doing everything going good, man. And I see you guys, man. I get with you guys, man. Be blessed.